Today we're going to be going through a story written in the form of checks called Ordeal by Check. What I'm going to do is read each of these checks to you. I'm not going to give a lot of commentary this time. I'm just going to read through them and you listen and make any little notes on yours that you want to um, as you're listening. We start on August 30th, 1903. Lawrence Exector writes a check of $148.50 to the Josie Lander Baby Shop. On September 2nd, 1903, he writes a check to the Hollywood Hospital in the amount of $100. On October 3rd, 1903, he writes a check in the amount of $475 to Dr. David M. McCoy. December 17th, 1903, he writes a check to the California Toyland Company the amount of $83.20. Notice that it changed from Lawrence Exector to Lawrence Exector Sr. once he paid the doctor. Lawrence Exector Sr. writes a check to the Palisade School for Boys in the amount of $1,250 on October 6, 1909. On April 18, 1910, he writes a check out to the City Bicycle Company for the amount of $52.50. Lawrence Exector Sr. writes out a check to the Columbia Military Academy in the amount of $2,150 on August 26, 1915. September 3, 1921, he writes a check in the amount of $3,885 to Hollywood Cadillac Company. Then on September 7, 1921, Lawrence Exector Sr. writes a check to the Wilshire Auto Repair Service in the amount of $288.76. On October 15, 1921, the check goes to Stanford University in the amount of $339. Then on June 1, 1923, Lawrence Exector Sr. writes a check to Miss Daisy Windsor in the amount of $25,000. June 19, 1923, writes a check in the amount of $585 to the French line, which is a place in France. On August 23rd, 1923, he writes a check to the Bank of France in the amount of $5,000. February 13th, 1926, he writes a check in the amount of $76.50 to the University Club Floris. Lawrence Exector Sr. writes a check out to the University Club Floris again on June 22, 1926, in the amount of $312.75. In August 11th of 1926, he writes a check to Riviera Heights Land Company in the amount of $56,000. October 30th of 1926, writes a check out to the Renaissance Interior Decorators in the amount of $22,000. November 18, 1926, he writes a check out to Beverly Diamond and Gift Shop in the amount of $678.45. Lawrence Exector Sr. writes a check to the Hawaii Steamship Company in the amount of $560 on November 16, 1926. November 21, 1926, Lawrence Exector Sr. writes a check to his son, Lawrence Exector Jr., in the amount of $20,000. November 22, 1926, Lawrence Exector Sr. writes out a check to the Ambassador Hotel the amount of 
$1,250. December 1st, 1926, he writes a check out to the University Club florist in the amount of $183.50. Lawrence Executor Jr. now has the checkbook and he writes out a check on February 18, 1927 to the Coconut Grove Sweet Shop in the amount of $27. Lawrence Executor Jr. still has this checkbook and he writes out a check on July 16, 1927 to the Parisian Gown Shop in the amount of $925. On December 1st of 1927, Lawrence Exector Jr. writes out a check to the Anita Lingerie Salon in the amount of $750. April 1st, 1928, he writes again to the Parisian Gown Shop in the amount of $1,150. Lawrence Exector Jr writes to the Modern Sports Shop on November 1st, 1928, in the amount of $562. On July 1st, 1929, he writes a check in the amount of $145.25 to the Bootery. Lawrence Executor Jr. writes a check on August 23rd, 1929, to a Pony Spagoni. He writes another check to Tony Spagoni in the amount of 126 on August 30th, 1929. On May 25th, 1930, Lawrence Executor Jr. writes a check out for $87 to the University Club Florist. He writes a check to Broadway Diamond Company in the amount of $575 on May 28, 1930. November 13, 1930, he writes a check for $50,000 to Miss Flossie Wentworth. Then on November 14, 1930, Lawrence Executor Jr. writes a check to Wall and Smith Attorneys at Law in the amount of $525. Then he writes a check to Mrs. Lawrence Executor Jr. in the amount of $5,000. On June 20th, 1931, he writes a check of $52 to the Municipal Court. Then on June 20th, 1931, he writes a check to Marie Wheaton Executor in the amount of $175. Thousand dollars. June 20th, 1931, Lawrence Executor Jr. writes a check to Walker and Walker in the amount of $700. A check to Wall and Smith in the amount of $450. Tony Spagoni shows back up on July 1st, 1931, and gets a check from Lawrence Executor Jr. in the amount of $100. Tony Spagoni gets another check on July 2nd, 1931 for $100 from Lawrence Executor Jr. Lawrence Executor Jr. also gives $25 to Peter Vinzetti. Then, July 5th, 1931, Hollywood Hospital gets $100 from Lawrence Executor Sr. Dr. David McCoy gets $175 from Lawrence Exector. Senior is taken off now. Hollywood Mortuary gets a check for $1,280 from Lawrence Exector. That is all of the checks. Notice that the checks begin at a baby shop in 1903 being signed by Lawrence Exector. That means he doesn't have a son or a father that has the same name, so he's just that. Changes to Lawrence Exector Sr. once a baby is born. 
And we notice that it ends at a mortuary, which is where a dead person would be. And again, it's signed by just Lawrence Exector. Senior is taken off whenever Dr. David McCoy is paid some money. And this is all taking place in 1931.